fam, I'm trying to brew early in the morning, trying to get the brew started. Um, we're working with my experimental brew right here, so um, we're going to have to kind of move kind of fast because I got to get everything together before I roll out to my adventure today, all right? So, make sure you stick around for the show. Let's get it. started so first things first we want to say bring them out 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 all right let's get our toast started so of course you know we got to start our day with our water the beautiful thing about my new glass is well I ain't got nothing to show y'all today so I ain't got my other glass out Oh, I do have something, but I ain't going to pull it out right now. All right, so make sure you drink your water. Beautiful thing about this glass is that it holds a lot more water. <sighs> you see a little crystal on the side? Look at that. That's kind of dope. See that crystal. Mm. I seen that I said I gotta get that for the toast. I'm just waiting for the next one to show up. And give me one more thing of water. I've been struggling getting up. I mean I'm able to get up around four, but uh I was jumping up at 3.30 for a while, but it's getting kind of rough right now, all right? So, I need some extra water, I guess. Mm. I'll take the last little bit of this, so for the next couple of days, we're going to be drinking straight green tea. We ain't gonna be straight. I'm gonna find something else to mix with it. But I got, I got me plenty of green tea left over from my brewing process. I'm gonna cut this a little bit with some cherry. I'm still experimenting with the red Kool-Aid Ambrosia. First, do not to the creator by whatever name you choose, call it creator. We toast that creator and we say, I say, we toast our personal ancestors. I run down my personal family line since nobody's online with me right now to, the, to uh, do I have any ancestors for me to shout out. Nobody's posted anything, it's timeline, but 
I do appreciate the comments. All right. So we toast your ancestors as well as mine. Miles Brown, Ms. Ann, Robert the Tech, Santa Davis, Homer Brown, Celia, Rosalie, Tilly, George and William, Walter, Christopher, and Fanny Gatson, Aunt Lena, Uncle Chris, Geneva Brown, Cleveland Brown, Margaret Ellis, Cecil Ellis, um, John Fillard, Jamon Jones, Malika Fakir. Dr. Marianne Williams, Elder Hairston, Elder Donaldson, Normal X, Sapat Ma Ra, Geronimo Pratt, Omar Chijaga, um, and all those, uh, oh, uh, Pastor uh, Yusef Weston. Um, oh, I need to add one. Um, I found out my father's name was Wash Ellis. Um, and for a long time, I wouldn't. I mean, until this day, I really, I knew, I knew his name for a long time. I never toasted him. But I, I, being a father now and being in the situations that I've been put in, I'm starting to kind of understand him just a little bit more, even though I never met him. Um, I was holding a grudge, I guess, you know, because I had never seen him before. So, you know, you know what I'm saying? I'm sitting up here doing to him what I say we shouldn't do to uh, other people. So I'm gonna salute um, my father's father, Wash Ellis. I say, um, I don't know what type of person he was. I'm quite sure. I mean, I, I'm, I'm gonna reach out to my auntie and ask her. So I'll make sure I'm toasting the right type of spirit. And that's important. When you are um, toasting your ancestors, make sure that you're, you're calling on the right type of spirit and you know, calling the right type of energy into your life, right? But I wanted to at least, at least one time say, cheers to um, my shoulders. Um, now we move to this moment. Today is Coochie Chocolate. The title of today's show is The World is Ours, right? So, you know, we're gonna get into it. Um, of course, we're gonna tie in the breathing and the, the, the day is Coochie Chocolatea, right? And we're going to toast the day, which is Coochie Chocolatea. And I say happy Coochie Chocolatea to y'all, all right? Now, next, next, what we're going to do, we are going to toast um, our children, our children, children, onto infinity. And we say, I say, and last but not least, any challenges that you have, any special libations that y'all have, any special toast that y'all would like me to make, we do it now, and we say, I say, I say, I say, I say. Peace, power, joy, in 100 years, y'all. Man, whoever out there, I want to say peace to you. Um, check out the Inclusive Soccer Challenge. All right, family. So, Facebook, we out. YouTube is on and popping. All right. So, now, today, School Chocolate, of course, and... No, let me start off. Y'all my family. Let's talk, man. I am trying to put a show together for my daughter. Because her day going around copying me. Or maybe I'm copying them. Because for a long time, they've been doing videos. Ever since I got my first tablet. 
they've been trying to do videos. So I went and did her first show. I went in to try to save space on those of you that do videos. Y'all understand what I'm talking about. I went in to try to save space on my uh, phone's hard drive. And I went in and I erased her title track. So what I'm going to go in and do is make her a personal title track for her show called The Gina G Project. Of course, Sasha Mosh is going to get a show. She gets a special spot in Gina's show. But we're going to... We're going to get started on our stuff today. Then we're going to move into the kitchen because I got to figure out how to get this lighting right so that I can get y'all um, some footage of me doing some brewing because, you know, I'm kind of, I got, a, uh, I got, I got about eight gallons brewing right now down in the basement, but I got experimental brew. That I'm trying to put together. Now for those that's watching this new. That's that coconut oil. Doing a little bit of that. This is that red palm oil. Gonna look them up. Or you can find my shows on them. Right. Get the day jumped off right. And the good thing about the. Because y'all. Those that's been watching. Y'all know. That that uh. Coconut oil is my barometer. A good when it's like that, excellent brewing time. the dishes so more than likely that's what we're gonna spend the majority of our time doing because I gotta watch those dishes but I want to talk to you I'm just gonna do it right here then I just go in and kill you know turn it right at one time now what I'm doing is I am experimenting with the uh, death eater so as y'all remember last time I had a jar of death eater that I brewed brew with a special scoby so now that I know my scoby can make it, I'm gonna go on and brew a whole thing. Uh, maybe about two gallons, somewhere around two gallons of it to see how the scoby will do. You know what I'm saying? So like I said, once again, I may either gain a new product or lose a scoby. You know what I'm saying? Um, I mean, they come in, and I just, I may have just discovered how to create Scobies. So, all right, so, now, because I don't know if y'all know this, when you look at the lore of Scobies, it's like, they're had, they've been handed down since, um, for thousands of years. So, you get a Scobie handed down, and mine was, in a sense, handed down, and I'm, you know, accidentally may have stumbled upon a scoby right now I'm seeing how it does and looking at it you know what I'm saying I'm saying damn I look a whole lot like a scoby right we may have stumbled on something new but now what brother Hatton I'm going to talk about today is the world is ours the world is ours not yours not mine it's ours right and when I say this I'm speaking to my African folk, my my Africans in America, the world is ours. Now anybody can learn something from this message, but y'all got to know that I distinctively need to speak to my folk. Why? Psh, I'm almost out. Damn. I need to distinctively speak to my folk, right? Today being Kuji Chagalia. Well, today being Kuji Chagalia, once again, a day of self-determination. Um, it's also for lines up with the modic principle, modic principle of justice, correspondence as above, so below, man. And today is my day. You know what I'm saying? I'm Quabana. I'm born on this day, right? And female is Albana. So 
you know, great, great day to those who are born on these days, right? And like I said, there's a reason that for a long time this has been one of my favorite principles, right? Listen, many of us act as if we are visiting in this world, right? We are um, tiptoeing around. We're not doing our best. You know what I'm saying? We we are just trying to fit in, right? Family. We have to begin to act as we supposed to act, right? Not as people want us to act. We got to stop making people feel comfortable around us, you know, because we're hiding our light. You know what I'm saying? We're not trying to outshine the master or the supposed master of this world, right? The fact of the matter is, family, the world is yours. And as long as you acting like a visitor on your property, you will always be taken advantage of. This is why I'm getting to this whole breath piece, right? I'm getting into, see, because we have to start, when you start <clears throat> seriously focusing on your breath, right? Seriously focusing on your diet, if that's your choice, right? But the breath is essential in this, in, on the good Saba challenge, the diet. And you start learning that you can control certain aspects of yourself. You start looking at the world a little bit differently, right? You start looking at the world like it's, it's your, it's, this is your space, right? And when you act like a visitor, like for example, when, you, when you're a visitor somewhere, you have to be polite and you have to put things exactly the way they need to be put and you're trying to be quiet and you're trying to be proper, right? You know what I'm saying? When you're at home, you throw your feet up. Laid back. There's a certain sense of control that you have. And I need you to understand that this whole world is yours. Right? This whole world is yours. And we need to start acting like that. Because there's no way we could build a culture. There's no way we could build a nation constantly being visitors. You know, I would say you talk with the mom wife about a term and um, I, 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 I spoke about, with y'all about a couple of days ago um, there's a kata I think they call it a kata right um, it's a term of uh, it's an insulting term that first surfaced um, well, I ain't gonna say first surfaced but the first time My French red is tripping. The first time I heard the term Akata was in the movie Sugar Hill, right? So then I, um, it was recently brought to my attention by Yvette Cornell on her, on her show, on her show Breaking Brown, where it's an, a term that's being used by continental Africans to talk about African Americans, right? And after I looked the term up, is like a feral cat, a homeless cat, um, and you know, but it's an insulting term, and I was thinking about it, like, you know, my wife is from Ghana, and I was like, you know, we was talking, I'm like, you know, you always got a place in the sense to go home, right, um, I really don't have a home, and I had to rethink my statement. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, God damn, you know, when it really comes down to it, as as an African born in America, I have to act like a visitor in a place that I was born. And it's like, it's enough of that shit. Enough of that. Right? See, because it's like this family. We got to start, we got to start changing our attitude and how we deal with this world and how we allow this world to deal with us. You know what I'm saying? We, we're we visitors in the cities that we live in. You know what I'm saying? We got to tiptoe around um, all these places. 
You know what I'm saying? Part of Kuti Chagalia is establishing who you are. And it's like this, man. I, I'm sitting doing I'm sitting doing these meditations and I'm ex or, or my fault, these breathing exercises. And I'm slowly extending the amount of time that I control my breath. And I know a lot of y'all don't even understand the depths of that. You need to really go back and read my blog for um, yesterday's, for um, Imani's show. Let me put it that way, for Imani's show. You really need to go back and look at my blog for Imani's show. Or maybe Moja, no, Moja did Rhythmic Breath. But on, in Imani, I talked about breath retention. I talked about the power that you develop as you practice the retention of your breath. Now, the rhythmic breath, the, the ashe breath, um, the cleansing breath, the complete breath, you know what I'm saying, are, 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 are breaths that you do um, in a rhythm, right? But then it's this thing about stopping the breath. And it makes you realize a, a few things, right? It, it helps you realize that you have a certain amount of control. Not just not not just over the physical body. You start enforcing control over a natural mechanism, over a force of nature. Right? Because when you hold your breath, you have an irrepressible urge to breathe at least you think that's what it is but when you really start exploring it it's like well damn I just took a whole bunch of breaths I don't need to breathe I'm not lacking any air I mean you can even cause like my mom has this thing you can put on your finger and let you know how much air you got and even when I was trying to hold my breath then my oxygen level never went below 95% so I'm sitting up here like, this is a goddamn illusion. Now, if my body is throwing an illusion on me, who else is throwing an illusion on me? What else is throwing an illusion on me? What else is striving to control me? Right? I got this natural urge that I think that if I don't respond to, I'm going to die. Right? You start looking at death differently. You start looking, I mean, you start looking at the control of yourself differently. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, it opens up a whole nother side of life for you. I mean, just, 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 just practicing with your breath and practicing, especially the retention of breath. Family, this is something that if you don't try, you, you will never understand, right? When you start, when, when you sit in there one day and just, do four minutes. At first, your throat start to tighten up. And then, you go somewhere in your mind. Right? You go somewhere in your mind. Now, your throat start tightening up in like the first minute and 30 seconds. Your chest, your diaphragm start acting up on you. And then you just take your mind somewhere. And at that minute and a half moment, it's like you vanish for a second and you pop back up three and a half, three forty-five, four minutes, and you're like, where the fuck was I at? Where was I at? Wait a minute. And then you like, wait, wait, I, boom, I stop. I, I stopped the exercise. I said, wait, 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 wait. I was choking and about to breathe at a minute and a half. But I blanked out and it ended up at 345 and I'm not dead. I know y'all like that's crazy, brother. I tell you right now. And don't hurt yourself. But what I'm saying is, listen, it's a false control over your life. 
that's active right now. And when you start dealing with your breath, this unconscious monster that is telling you that you have to breathe, right? And you start looking at it. You have to wonder what other unconscious mechanisms are active in your life. Like the unconscious mechanism of you feeling homeless. You know what I'm saying? The son of man is without a home. It's like black folks is the son of man. You know what I'm saying? Hell with that. You know what I'm saying? We have to start establishing our territory. Right? We are here. So we need to start. We need to start in a sense. Not even acting. You know what I'm saying? We got to start asserting our ownership. Not only of this place. But all the other places where we go. You know what I'm saying? And there's a certain arrogance that go along with that. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, dude, it's like, it, it, it's not cool being a visitor all the goddamn time. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't always want to put shit back. I won't always, you know what I'm saying? Cause it, it's, 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 it's like, we have to change how we deal with the world so that the world changes how they deal with us. The fact of the matter is that you can't be given freedom, right? You you can't be given justice. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's certain things that you can't be given. It's certain things that your enemy or your master cannot give you. You know what I'm saying? They have to be taken. And that requires us to plug back into our Gucci Chocolate. That requires us to pull back into our sense of justice that requires us to understand the law of correspondence as above so below right if i'm a, if the stars up there has have have gravity that forces things to rotate around them then you have to start establishing your personal gravity right and you have to start deciding what you're going to allow to circulate around you and to circulate inside of you Right, that whole breath analogy is about. I'm deciding. I'm, I'm, I'm getting to a point where at just at 49, and this is what's so powerful about the family. It ain't the age thing. It's like when you start understanding that you control things inside of you, it gives you a confidence to control stuff outside of you. Right. It, last thing, and I'm done, family. In, uh, I think it's the tally chain. They say, um, when you control, when you control yourself, you can control your family, right? When you control your family, you can control your tribe. When you control your tribe, you can control your clan. When you control your clan, you can control your city. When you can control your city, you can control your state. When you can control your state, you can control your nation. When you can control your nation, you can control your world. But this all starts with control of self. The breath exercise is about you controlling you. And by you controlling you, you start to change and morph your reality. Now imagine when we start doing it as a group. Imagine just, just I mean, just with a small group of us coming together, practicing, practicing our, our, our breath. Right, and I know it sounds crazy, right? A breathing workshop. I'm trying to tell y'all. Hey, wait, wait for the warrior training, yo. This is brother Hot Tim. I'm about to get in and brew this stuff. I'm sorry y'all ain't gonna be able to do it with me this time. Um, Cause the lighting is horrible. I tried it this morning. If you seen, you'll see at the beginning credits, right? So I'm gonna go in and fix my daughter's video, and I'm gonna go on and finish cleaning up, and then I'm on. Bro, all right. So I want to say peace. I want to thank y'all for joining me once again, right? So once again, it's great, cool, your chocolate. Ain't gonna be a lot of graphics with this because I want to get this up real quick. All right, and I'm out.
Red Kool-Aid Ambrosia coming soon. <clears throat> ah. Alright, I'm out. Thank you for watching the video. I want you to subscribe. Click the bird right there. The fiery bird. And I also have a special video just for you. Right there. And for those that want more information about Jamie Journey, go to our site. It should be right about there. Peace.